The Pacific Rim Cup is back this summer with fun opportunities for Hawaii soccer youth. Chris Latronic joining us now from Magic Island with more. Good morning, Chris. Good morning, Bridget. Yeah, we've been here most of the morning learning more about the Pacific Rim Cup for 2024. They got a great clinic and a great tournament, and it's all open for everybody. And here, you can see behind me, we've been learning with Coach Shamden about some pretty cool stuff, but also uh, with Take uh, Nakamura, who's the organizer for this year's event. Uh, good morning to you. Tell me a little bit about uh, this year's clinic as well as a uh, big tournament, right? Right. We've been doing this clinic for the past three years, but this year we're bringing in new coaches former Japanese national team players, uh, former MLS players like you could see here, and then the head scout of the Seattle Sounders Academy. Wow, so this is almost a good luck for anyone who comes to the clinic could possibly get recruited to the Sounders? Possibly, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, that's a, that's a big pipe dream. Also, there's a big tournament that, this is the first time this tournament's going on? Right, we've added the kids tournament. Uh, usually we just do the clinic because we want to bring back the professionals, but in between we're doing the kids tournament as well. Yes, and this all started when uh, the professional games would come here. That actually stopped when the pandemic, yeah? Correct, we did the professionals for two years. Uh, unfortunately, with the uh, pandemic, we had to stop, but we're trying to keep the hype going. Yes, and then tell me about some of the other, besides uh, Shandon, some of the other pros that are going to be here. Sure, uh, Kenji Trashuk, also a former Seattle Sounders player uh, here from Hawaii. Yeah. Uh, Takuya Yamada, a Japanese national team player. He's going to be the head coach, so it's going to be a variety of good mix of coaches. That's a good time. What time does, when does the, uh, the clinic happen, and when does the tournament happen? The clinic is on uh, Friday, the tournament's on Saturday, and the registration is for all ages, all level. It closes on Wednesday. Okay, sounds good. So we'll have more information where you can sign up at KHUN2.com. But here we are with Emery as well as Arrow, and of course, Hawaii boy, uh, Shandon. Good morning to you, sir. Uh, thank you for all the tips you've been uh, helping us out with. How things have been going with the clinic, and I heard you're actually working for a clinic that happens here in Hawaii, right? Yeah, so our academy is called Rush Soccer Academy. You can find us on www.rushsoccer.com. So the academy is the only academy in Oahu, which is a soccer academy, which they train two times a day, and they have an online school, which is a private school. So they're getting a lot more hours than everybody else. That's cool. And, it, and it's, very, it's very cool because we didn't have that. Yes. Something I dreamed of, and now we have it. That's cool. And now you're giving back to Hawaii after playing <clears> with the <throat> Seattle Sounders. Um, we're also going to get a taste of that clinic this weekend with this uh, clinic that's still open. Tell me about uh, what we can learn. Yeah, so we're going to cover all the fundamentals of a soccer player, uh, whether it's dribbling, passing, heading, sh shooting, scoring, celebrating even, <laughs> and competing and having fun, which is, which is the best thing about sports. And I think... The game should be fun for everybody, and competing is healthy for us. Yes, and that's what it's all about. We learned how to shoot a little bit earlier, dribble, pass, and now there's also one skill that's also pretty crucial, and people kind of take it for granted, just regular juggling. Tell me how important that is. Juggling is the foundation of soccer. Um, if you can't juggle, do not expect to make it <laughs> at the next level. Wow. <laughs> so okay. we'll, uh, we'll te teach you right now. Okay, let's go. There's a, okay, kids, grab the room. There's a trick that nobody really talks about which is curling your toes. Okay. So when we juggle and we curl our toes, that's when the ball stays close to us and stays low. Wow. So you're in more control of the ball when you curl your toes. Then when you get more advanced, you can start kicking it. Kicking it higher, 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 and then you can start doing tricks once you get really good at it. Wow, so this is, so then there's regular dribbling, but then there's that whole next level of almost dribbling in the air, and that's yep. what juggling is? Juggling, yep. Oh. You can use the inside of your foot, laces, your outside, you can do a bunch of cool tricks even with your head. Okay, okay. Shall we start doing it? Okay, let's try. So okay. what's the key? The key is to get under the ball. Okay, get under the ball. Get under the ball all the time. And make sure you're on your toes so that you can move under the ball once you get it up in the air. Shoes might not be the best. <laughs> oh, yes. Once you get it up, <laughs> once you get it up, make sure you're moving underneath the ball at all times. Oh, yeah, yeah. So you cannot be on your heels when you juggle. Oh, oh. <laughs> I almost passed it the ball. And soft, soft touches. Okay. This might be a little bit, uh, a little bit above my level, but you can learn more and get to level like Shandon, as well as even the kids, Arrow and, and Emery. Thank you guys so much for this. It's all happening this weekend. Friday is the, the clinic. You want to sign up that before Wednesday and then the tournament this Saturday. We'll have more information on our website at kchun2.com. This is Chris Atronic working for Hawaii, working up a sweat for Hawaii, sending things back to you.